Now let's see. I wonder how many times I'll say the same things again today that I've been saying for 24 years. I don't know. We should take a drink every time somebody says automobile tire print. I'm Dylan. This is Ray. Ray's an artist, and in 1989 developed a piece with the avant-garde composer John Cage called Steps, inspired by Automobile Tire Print, a work by Cage and Robert Rauschenberg in which they inked the wheel of a car and drove over connected sheets of paper. In true Cage fashion, it doesn't matter who holds the brush. The classical music publisher C.F. Peters is publishing Steps, as it's a composition for a painting. Having done many workshops, Ray and I are headed to Halberstadt, Germany to hand off the brush once more. It's really strong. So, welcome to the next performance. Arnold Schreiberg will start soon. This variation of John Cage Steps, the composition for the painting, with the title 380 Steps. Probably more, but <laughs> a lot more. But. One. An introductory essay to the doctrine of sounds containing some proposals for the improvement of acoustics as it was presented to the Society of Dublin, November 12th, 1683, by Archbishop Narcissus Marsh. Two, the conveying and propagating which, as to the object of hearing, which is sound, improvement, by duly placing the sonorous made both as to the proposals for the improvement of conveying or propagating, which is a kind of conserving of sounds, period. Four, better fent out and two, seven, a greater distance than Eight. otherwise. Nine. Ten. The very life and soul of. Eleven. No better or no more pleasant. If the sonorous body be placed near water, the sound will easily much sooner decay. Twelve. To any man to conceive, the ear shall be able, as perspective glasses and telescopes, confound the tone of the very great distance, but with 22, 23, might be for speaking clearly, 27, and articulately at a distance. Who uses this instrument, he shall at the sound of the smallest animals for speaking in general so also by a polyphone 28 33 34 39 The last sound by the conveyed from one extreme to as the greatest, a whisper, 38, the shot of a cannon, 36, at any distance I must add within a certain though very large sphere. 
considerable distance so that those 40. The second is to propagate. A man may talk to hear nothing of what his, his friend at a 41. Very, hearing a consort. So as not to be a circular distance, but hyperbolical. Place to another in the middle. As this, where the sound that sound a sound may be. May be conveyed the, the horizon is suited to a greater word. circle. I speak this concerning sounds made as they usually are. Thank you. something that the text, it's actually a linear text, which I decided at the last moment to reshuffle a bit, mm -hmm. and uh, um, uh, in this, yeah, to see what happens, mm -hmm. you know, in the spirit of, of John Cage, um, and um, it's the earliest mention in literature, in English literature, of the term microphone from 1673. Um, uh, Marsh was uh, not only a monk but an archbishop, but was a uh, had a, uh, one of the largest library. I think the earliest and largest library in Ireland, which is a very special place you normally can't get access to. And I was able to get copies of these original documents. It was literally a book this size. It was the journal of the some scientific journal from that time, and he had an article in it where he spoke about his visionary ideas on acoustics and the possibility to uh, control and work with sounds and send them over distances and amplify them and uh, look at them always using the metaphor we have already telescopes and eyeglasses why can't we get yeah get closer to this incredible thank you <laughs> thank you okay. I don't step over this is the First published notation yeah. of steps, yeah. a composition for a painting, and I think your interpretation was absolutely remarkable and was the kind of thing we were imagining would be able to take place. Um, this is really a theater piece, but it, it has, has a remarkable presence. Did you want to apply a wash? I, I, I don't think maybe it needs it, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, it's difficult with the papers on the floor. So the text, the text sounds so strangely contemporary. Yes, it's. Uh, yeah, <laughs> how could it have been written in 1643? Uh, well, 1673. <laughs> 73. Oh well, 30. Yeah, that's a significant 30 years. A huge advance in the Enlightenment. So, it's for you to sign. Oh, okay. I'd be delighted to sign it. This is beautiful. I don't know if there will be immediately something. It shows the range of possibilities. I don't know. 